สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. If you're having a dinner party anytime soon, I've got a great recipe for you. If you've ever been to Thailand, you probably noticed that we like to eat our fish whole. And so I recently got a request for a whole fish crusted in snowy, flaky salt and grilled. And this is called pla p a o g l e Now p l a means fish. p a o literally means to burn, but in this context, it's to grill. And then g l e is salt. Now you can often see these being grilled fresh on the streets of Thailand. However, I want to show you today a way you can easily make this at home. Just Using your regular oven, and by the time I'm done, you can do this recipe either in the oven or on the grill if you want. So let's get started. So whenever Thai people cook with fish, we love to bombard it with herbs because fresh herbs, especially Thai herbs, help mitigate any fishiness from the fish. So I've got here some garlic and some galangal, which these are frozen, and I'm using them directly from frozen. Kaffir lime leaves, citrus aroma is the best. At mitigating fishiness, some lemongrass, which I've crushed, also frozen, and pandan leaves. Now I often use this in desserts and sweets because this is sort of our vanilla, but we sometimes use it in savory. And in this application, uh, it makes a fish have this floral aroma. It's so so good. So I'm gonna put all this in my food processor here. Now some people just make. Just crush them in a mortar and pestle, and that's fine too. But I find that if I blitz it a little more fine, the aroma really comes out stronger. Oh, that smell! That smells so good. And that's it. Let's look at the fish. So meet Mr. Fish. I'm using today ocean perch, and I got perch today because actually it was on sale at the store. But I love using perch because it's got a mild flavored flesh that is very versatile and it's inexpensive, so it's a good sort of everyday cooking fish. Any white mild flavored fish will work. Okay. So what I've done is at the fishmonger they took out the guts, they scaled it. Which is not traditional. A lot of times in Thailand, they will leave the scale of the fish on. It'll make peeling of the skin easier at the end. But I like to not have the scale because that will allow the salt to penetrate and season the flesh a little bit. That's an option for you, so you can decide how you want to do that. So first, I'm going to stuff the the belly with the herbs. And now the herbs are not actually going to flavor the flesh itself. It's sort of confined in the cavity, so the belly meat will get the flavor of the herbs, but not so much the back meat. But what it will do is, as you're eating it, you can smell the herbs, and it's sort of like a the aroma dimension of your meal. And now. The salt. So I am using fine kosher salt for this, not the super fine table salt. Something that looks snowy, like kosher salt, works great. So something like this, which is sort of nice and fluffy, works perfectly. I'm going to just pat this salt all over the fish, and what the salt does. This is my theory, anyway. The salt sort of shrinks the skin. And then it prevents the juice from the meat to escape during the cooking. Because what you find is that when the fish is done, it is so juicy, like so incredibly juicy, and you won't see a lot of liquid coming out of the fish as it cooks, and the skin will be really tight. So just it doesn't have to be thick. So this is not like the Spanish way of making this massive, you know, cave of salt for the fish. It's just a coating. Other side, and I always want to make sure I get under his armpit. All right, and that is it. How easy is that? It's ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to transfer this guy over to my other tray here with parchment paper. So Mr. Fish here is going to go into a 350 degree oven Fahrenheit for 25 minutes, roughly, depending on the size. This guy is about two pounds, and if you want to go old school and grill it, you can go ahead and do that. Make sure your grill is quite low. You want the fish to cook slow and low, and it should also take about 25 to 30 minutes on the grill. And that's it. 
All right, now the dipping sauce. And as you can see, the flavor of the fish is gonna be quite simple. Salt is our only seasoning. This is where it gets a little interesting. Now you can make the ultimate seafood dipping sauce, which I have a video for. I'll put the link right up here that works really well. But I wanna show you a version that I love. It's sort of like a nam dim tao, which is used for barbecue things. But I'm adding some roasted peanuts for a little extra crunchy richness. So I'm gonna start out with dry chili. So these are dry chili that I actually roasted in the oven, just, you know, next to the fish, for literally three to four minutes until they start to become a little dark and smoky. And I'm gonna pound this into basically chili flakes. And that's it. And now some fresh garlic. That raw garlicky bite works so well with seafood. Just like that, I'm gonna add my palm sugar. So I've got finely chopped palm sugar here. You can use brown sugar or white sugar if you want, but you know me, I love my butterscotchy palm sugar. So now the palm sugar is dissolved, it's sort of a paste. I'm adding some roasted peanuts and I always get my peanuts raw and then roast them fresh. And we're not doing peanut butter here. I just wanna get them ground up because I want that texture. There you go, just like that. And now, tamarind is gonna give a little bit of thickness and richness, tartness, and of course, fresh lime juice. We don't have seafood without fresh lime juice in Thailand. Some fish sauce, of course. It's gonna be super fishy fish. And now I'm gonna add some freshness with chopped cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can add mint, which I'm also gonna add, but you can just do almond or green onions. And the mint I was talking about. Mm. Ooh, that was super easy. And this is not just good on fish, it's good on your grilled chicken breast, it's good on steak, it's good on anything. All right, so the fish is done. It smells amazing. What I wanna do before I put it on a serving platter, and this is optional, is I like to get rid of the extra salt first, because sometimes I find that if the salt makes it to the actual serving plate, people will accidentally get a big chunk of salt when they eat it and then it's super salty, right? And just brush off the extra salt and it'll sort of dried and flake off pretty easily. And on the other side, I just go under and brush it off. Woohoo! Ta-da! And my plate is just big enough for this. Yay! And then this little bundle of mint can be where my sauce sits. Look how cool that is! You want some nice hot jasmine rice with this. And the most important thing I'll say all day today is you don't eat the skin, okay? The skin is now really, really salty. A lot of times when this gets served in Thailand, the skin will be already peeled for you, okay? So what I do is I just take a fork or a knife and just peel the skin off. And if you leave the scale on, this is the part where it will become significantly easier for you. Okay, because the scale will just make it really easy for the skin to come off. There we go, but it'll still peel off. It's just a little stickier now. Oh, look how juicy that fish is. Ah, that is the doing of the salt, my friends. A little bit of sauce, not too much because the fish will already be salty. So, oh, and that's another thing, depending on the fish you use, the saltiness will vary because some fish has thicker skin, so the fish flesh itself won't be quite as salty. Some will have thinner skin that would be more salty. So that's something you'll have to adjust, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the fish is so juicy. Now, perch has a very medium firm flesh. So when you make sure it's super, super juicy, it prevents it from becoming dry or tough. It's perfect for fish like this. And the saltiness sort of penetrates through the skin and season the flesh just right. The sauce is spicy and fresh and peanutty. It works really well. And once you get to that belly meat, I am telling you, if you've got lots of people around the table, you wanna go for that belly meat. So I hope you give this a try. The recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, please do so you never miss an episode. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. Do that and make sure to keep the grill heat low and let the cook fish slowly. Fish cook slowly. <laughs> Hello!